Okay, we ready? Yep. Alright, we're going to add 45 plus 27 this time. So what number should we start on, Emily? 40. 40. Wow. Yeah, so circle 45 on your hundreds chart. And then we're going to add 27. How many tens are in that number 27? Two. Two, good. So we're going to go up or down? Down. Down. We're adding two tens. So 10, 20, we landed on 65. Yeah. Now we need to add how many ones? Five. Seven. We're looking at this 27. We're going to add seven ones. So let's move over seven. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Go to the next row. Six, seven. What did you land on? Seventy-two. Seventy-two. So forty-five plus twenty-seven equals seventy-two. Okay, let's do this one. I want you to do the next one on your own. You're going to add thirty-nine plus thirty-nine plus sixteen. And when y'all are finished, we will do it together and make sure we all got the same answer. You've had some time to work out your problem, so let's see if we get the same answer. Do you all start on 39? Yep. Let me get my turn back out. Okay, 39. Alright, so how many tens am I going to go down, guys? Three. Three, because I'm adding 39, so I'm going to go down. 10, 20, 30. Did you land on 69? Yeah. Great. Now we need to go over how many ones? Nine. Nine. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Now we've landed here and we need to add sixteen. How many tens are we moving? One. So you're down at eighty-eight. And we're going to move over how many ones? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did you get 94? Yes. Excellent. That's how you can use the number chart, the hundreds chart, to add double-digit numbers.